see to the left of the bottom rock, see a slight orange colour to the sky. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fire off a few shots and we'll see what we get. Found my first position. I've got the camera set up in front of these rocks here, which is a nice leading line to, to both of the rock. I've got the camera set up with a circular polarizer on the front. Also, my end stop circular filter as well. The camera aperture I've used is f9, and that'll make sure that I get sharpness from front to back. Um, I'm using my 10 to 18 mil lens, wide lens, just so I can get all of the, the rocks and everything in the shot as well. So I'm standing in front of the camera here just so I can block out of any of the wind because it is a little bit windy down here. Uh, I'm just going to take this shot and as you'll see in the sky behind me, the, the sun is starting to rise and it's casting some nice light onto the clouds there. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this shot and I'll post up a picture for you to see in just a second. So I found my second copy, I'm going to get closer to the rock there, and as you'll see behind me, um, there's a little bit more interest to the cloud, which is great, it adds a little bit more, there's a little bit more colour and everything, adds a little bit more interest to the, the photograph. So the camera's set at the same settings as before, with the 10 stop on the front, F9, It's a little bit windy as well, so I'm sitting in front of the camera just to try and block out as much of the, the wind as possible so we don't get a shaky image so it stays sharp. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this go. Um, we're on in about four minutes, so I'm gonna stop it there and I'll post the image up and let you see what we've got. this image and I'm going to post it up for you in just a second. Thanks very much for watching.